Hello. Okay. Let me get this up so I look more attractive. <laughs> um, I was just thinking um, about um one very prevalent thing about um everyone nowadays is that um we we spend so much time on on a screen you know like a, like like if you're watching me you're spending time on the screen you know um here's why that's not a good thing and i know i'm just i i'm a mom and that's what moms do. They don't like screens, but hear me out. I don't think screens are a completely bad thing. It's, there's lots of things in life that are both good and evil. And this is just one thing that's got an evil side that people are not addressing. I think everyone's aware of it. Just just haven't thought about it because like um okay even even in school everyone knows that they're they're not supposed to spend their lives sitting at a desk at a chair not outside actually doing something you know um and everyone experiences that and it's like why is it important that why do you I as a kid just rather play outside than than do schoolwork than look at a book and stuff because it's not my memories it's like it's not my brain that I'm living in and that's that's not good because I'm the only person who's been where I've been you know like there are things that I know that I've seen, I've heard, that are not recorded on anything. I'm the only one who can recall it like I do. Do you know how powerful that is? Do you know, like, what? Like, how dangerous it is to not know that or care about it you know to give that to somebody else to live somebody else's memories and lives without ever doing anything in your own life that is so dangerous it's not realized you know let's say I've I've seen how someone can find water in a desert. Somebody I grew up with told me how. Because, cause, um, you know, they... It can even be me. Like, the person can figure something out. Find the solution to that problem. Of finding water in the desert. And it's like... Um, Death Valley, you know, finding water in Death Valley. <laughs> um, like nobody else knows how to do that, but you do, and that literally could save someone's life. And if I am not even using that part of my mind to say, oh, this is how I survive when I, okay, I'm walking, I'm about to fall down. How do I catch myself? You know, if I'm sitting down all day and I'm not walking, I'll never know that. If I am looking at only one place 
and I'm just looking at what someone else has put in front of me instead of where I myself turn to, then how do I know that I have free will? How do I know that um, I can get out of anything? Because I'm thinking that somebody has to put it in front of me. Just even like, how do I know I can make my own food, you know? It's so easy to learn that, but people don't even know how to cook nowadays, and that's terrifying. It's terrifying. <laughs> it's, it's not that hard to learn, and it's basic knowledge and common sense, and people don't know how to access that, that you know, learn how to use common sense anymore because they expect someone to put something in front of them. They don't, like, when I'm on YouTube, I don't know what I'm looking for exactly. I'm just there to not think, you know, I'm there to just find, like, have someone put something in front of me that looks interesting. But... I'll never know it's interesting if I never, like, experience it, you know, or know why it's interesting. That's another problem with uh, school is, you know, I've never been to school, but I know the basic structure. It's, um, like, um... It's like a, a multiplication chart, but instead of numbers, it's kids sitting in a square. It's like, um, maybe, um, let's just say it's five by five chairs going up in, like, height and width. Like, that's just 25 people in a classroom, you know, and they're, they're just, like, sitting there and you're at a desk and you have a pencil and and papers underneath the the desk and you know that's an old desk i guess but um and then you've got those hard chairs that you have to sit in that like the the plastic ones that you your hair catches on and and like i don't know those are the crappy chairs like could have better chairs honestly now but um, you're just sitting there at your desk, and then you've got a person talking at you, and they're just telling you how to use your brain all day, but you, you aren't, you don't know how to apply that, because you're literally there all day. Like, like, yeah, I can learn this, but how do I apply it there? I don't know, because I don't, I haven't lived your life, you know? Because you've been out and about, maybe, or, and you know how to apply this, but I'm literally here, um, five days a week, um, from, like, 6 a.m. to, uh, 3.30 or 4.30 p.m., and that's ridiculous, like, that's all daylight hours almost. You've got just a couple hours at the end that's daylight and it's evening time and you it's when we're going to bed, you know. It's, and then you got your parents telling you to just go to bed and just listen to me because I'm, I'm a parent, but they're not understanding that the kid just wants to live life, you know. There's a lot of parents that do things right, you know, and they don't believe they can do things right. I, I wish people would be more confident in their abilities and 
confident they don't have to rely on somebody else to live a life for them and explain everything for them because that's not how a brain functions you know just just think about it it's not <laughs> like i am kind of glad covid is throwing a wrench in the system and making people realize hey Maybe it's literally not a good idea to do this. Literally. Kids still need community and other people, but they need to not be told to sit in one spot away from somebody else. Like, yeah, they can go over and bug another kid, but why is that a bad thing? Then they learn how to tell the other kid, to stop doing that themselves you don't have to get an adult to intervene and do everything for them you know the adults literally don't like doing that and yet we think that's the way it has to be because it's always been that way and you never change i i'm very passionate about this and I feel like I can't even speak about it because I, I haven't even been in that situation. You know, how do I even know it exists? Honestly. The, the situation I've been in is I've had to learn how to do things myself. Like, if I don't actively go out and search out something good to learn... I starve. I don't eat. That's something people don't realize. You can't just drop out of school. Because if you do, you don't eat. <sighs> but, and at the same time, you need to, because how else are you going to learn that you can, you can go out and get that yourself and you have to it's expecting adults to do everything for you and I'm not saying make kids do everything for themselves and you know by themselves no that's not good they need to learn how to use their hands literally they need to learn how to use their bodies and like their minds and know history and learn from the past. But like the way, the way my mind works is I learn a little bit of information and it's very hard for me to remember things. So it has to be just a little bit like one sentence. Okay. And then and then I um, think about that sentence all day and I apply it to different situations I'm in. Let's say um, it's like usually with Bible verses, it's there's a Bible verse that's like uh, in Proverbs, quick to do a job, um, quick to make money or something like that. It's like thinking about that. How do I apply that to doing the dishes? How do I apply that to eating a piece of bread? How do I apply that to deciding if I should go out to eat or not? How do I apply that to walking here? Like, you know, is it a good idea to walk there? Maybe there is another place I need to be. And if I just go ahead and go the other place, I'm wasting time and I didn't give myself the option to go somewhere else, you know. And, uh, everybody needs to be able to do that because... You know, what if you 
you know, it's deciding whether to chase after one girl versus another or or something like that. You have to weigh the options. You have to see, you know, is what characteristics about this person make them something I should be pursuing, you know, specifically me. I have to know, it helps me know what I am. And, and when I'm expecting somebody else to think for me, I don't know what I am. How can I? So, anyway... Yeah, mom's being loud when you're trying to sleep. <laughs> okay. Anyway, just some things to think about. Just something I'm passionate about. Anyway, see you guys later. Bye-bye.